Okay, this time we have an update for the schema builder, which was previously called the entities builder. Now we decided to rename it to schema builder because it makes more sense. Because I think most people are going to be using this feature of Staxio to create schema and use the schema either on your Staxio builds or somewhere else on your online properties. So get into what has been updated with this version of Staxio. Okay, so I'm gonna do a build and on the form, this is the entities and schema builder here. Okay, give me a second. So this is the entities and schema builder here on the schema tab of the planner. So I have my projects here on the planner um, I have enabled only the projects tab, I have disabled the live events and the cloud explorer and I go to my schema tab and then into the entities in schema builder and we have our usual Google spreadsheet. So I'm going to type in this is my spreadsheet. So this is going to give a name to a folder and the spreadsheet on my Google Drive which where Staxio is going to build my schema. And now I am, we have this feature, which I'm going to get an article for, which now we can insert an article and Staxio will extract the entities from that text. So uh, let me go, for example, to, I don't know, let's say the guardian.com. And so let's. Well, yes, I'm happy. So let's go into any article. I don't know. I don't care. This is too many pop-ups. And I'm going to randomly just take some text and copy this text. Okay, this uh, should, here should be enough. Let me make sure that I'm copying. I don't know why it's going. Okay, let's see if... I can cop, I can paste this text in, very good. All right, it's a short text, very good. I'm gonna click the Extract Entities button. And Staxio is now going to take the text and extract the entities it finds into this field here, the Entities field. Okay, brilliant. So now I have a list of 53 entities, okay? which Staxio took from the text above. So this is very good because now we don't, um, we don't need to search for the entities or to have um, an idea or a list of entities that we would uh, populate with the previous version of Staxio. We would take the entities, we would paste the entities into the entities builder and then create the schema. Now we have, um, uh, this process more easier for us where we can take for example the article that we are going to use on our builds and if we paste the article here in this field it will extract the entities automatically for us so the next step now that we have extracted our entities from our article and our text is to um, build our schema not only the schema it will give us more information but um, just to give you a another bit of information about these entities, not all of these entities um, are probably going to show up on the um, results file on our Google uh, spreadsheet because mm, we are filtering these entities. So Staxio is filtering the entities. Um, and if they don't have enough information to qualify as being an entity to be used on a schema, then Staxio will not add that entity into your file. You're not going to see that entity on the Google spreadsheet. So um, just to keep that in mind, because um, if you see 53 entities, for example, if you extract uh, X amount of entities from your article and then go into the, um, which I'll show you an example, and then go into the Google spreadsheet, then you don't see the 53 all the entities that you have extracted on the file that's perfectly normal okay that is normal because 
Uh, not all entities, sometimes the entities don't have information uh, from the places where we are extracting um, entity information from. There's not enough information and um, sometimes they're completely empty. They're completely blank. Um, sometimes the entities don't have enough information for um, to be used uh, on on a on schema on on a scenario where we're building schema uh, to be used online. So Staxio is already doing that work for you. It's already helping you to get um, good schema to be used uh, in your Google properties or any online property website whatever wherever you can use uh, json ld uh, schema information okay so as recap so we have a maximum of 50 and you're probably not going to see all the entities that you ex extract from your text and we're, we're going to see an example of that in a couple of minutes um seconds Results, number of total results to get from the Google Knowledge Graph. I usually keep this at 10, that's good enough for me. Um, usually if I'm, I'm not using this information a lot. Uh, talk, tag, name and color, if you want to do that. This is a, a common uh, setting on the builders of Staxio. You can add a tag name uh, and select a color to your projects just to keep things organized here on the planner table. I don't have any tags created for these projects. This is a test account. Sorry for that. And we have a control panel which um, you can enable and select to extract your entity details. So if you are only generating schema, okay, if if your goal is to just get the schema files, don't use this, don't enable this option because uh, it will just add extra uh, build time. It will take more time for Staxio to create your files and you're not gonna use this, this data. I will enable this just to show you the what uh, show well maybe i can build two types and show you the difference and open both and compare maybe that's better so let's first just build the schema from this article and we're going to take a look at the file once the build is complete and then after that i can probably do another build with the extract entity details enabled and then compare both files so let's just wait for a second a few more seconds until Staxio is done with the build okay so we have our schema created let's take a look here we have a project schema project this is the link to the folder and this was my keyword <laughs> and this is linked to the spreadsheet actually let's take a look at the folder so what do we have inside the folder we have a file so this is a text file for each of the entities that uh, were extracted and have schema so let's open a random one or release is a known entity okay so an art release is the premiere of blah, blah blah all right this is the description so we have schema for this entity so we have <clears throat> one file for each of the entities that were extracted um, and got their schema created we, but we also have another file with all the entities combined into one single uh, json ld schema information and this is the file with the name entities.txt you notice that this is fi this file is, is 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 bigger than all the others because it has a combination of all the schema from all the entities combined into a single one this is a big file i'm just going to open it because it has really a lot of information as you can see i'm scrolling down so this is a lot of information so this is a combination of all the entities found and extracted into one JS one single uh, json ld uh, schema format now i'm going to go back to staxio and open the spreadsheet and now we're going to take a look at the spreadsheet that was created Again, here is the information. It's one single 
uh, schema tab on our spreadsheet because we told Stagio to um, create uh, only schema without entity details, without extra details. And we're going to do a build in a minute. Um, so, sorry. Okay, so we have a link to the file with all the entities at the top, uh, which is the file that uh, entities.txt that I just showed you. I'm going to open it again. Um, and it, oh, when you click on that link, it's going to open that file. So now you can copy that information and use it on Staxio, use it anywhere you can add JSON LD uh, schema information into. And we have a link to each of our entities as well. Okay, on our Google Drive. Actually, let's take a look at how many entities were 49 filter all right very good actually this is a not a bad example at all because we got ex we extracted 53 entities and from this article and 40 well 48 because the top uh, 47 actually because the this row is just the name of the uh, columns and then this one is a file with all the entities so it's minus two so we got 47 entities extracted from that article and extracted and identified and filtered by Staxio as being a good match to be added to the schema file to be used as JSON LD schema 47 entities very good perfect excellent and this is the end result of building uh, of doing a build with the schema builder of Staxio. Now let's do another example where I enable the extract entity details. So let's wait a few more seconds and uh, compare both these files. Just letting you know uh, another. So when you enable this option on the control panel, um, it will take Staxio longer to build and create your file and your schema information okay just be aware that by enabling this option if you get a timeout then mm, try to um, deal have less entities here Staxio is already trying to avoid timeouts by uh, only extracting a maximum of 50 entities but sometimes if you see, sometimes some entities have more information than others. If you get a timeout on your builds with the, with the schema builder, then um, take like delete a few entities and make it like 40 and then do another build. Uh, usually 40 uh, is, is a good number uh, to begin with, to start with. And um, it doesn't usually give any timeouts. But for example, what I would do is I would copy you know, delete and then paste the entities uh, somewhere else in a text file or anywhere else. And then you can come back into the schema builder, paste those entities that you would like to extract schema information for, and then extract that. So you split the batch, you split this, uh, the entities into different batches. Um, so you can extract all the entities that you need uh, to work with. Okay. So let's wait and force ask you to complete this build. Okay, we have our second build complete. Let's scroll back up into the planner. And here is our project. And I'm going to open the spreadsheet and then we're going to do a comparison between these two. All right, so we have two more tabs. Okay, let's let me open the previous one so first build we had the schema tab only with our schema and second build we have two tabs one from dbpedia and another from google google knowledge graph so dbpedia what do we have for each we have more details for each of our entities um, and pendulum if you are so this is a score well we did a video already on how this works on on all the details i uh, will probably it's not so i would advise um recommend that you take a look at the previous uh, entities entity builder video we have on youtube which goes into uh the details of how uh, what's on this tab what the information is on this tab i'm just gonna 
quickly uh, run through it, okay? But take a look at that video if you want uh, to understand a bit more about the information that is in here. I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit and take a look at what the information we have here, which is more details about each of our entities, okay, that we um, told Staxio to create. This is a lot of information, so 195 uh, rows of information, right? And we also have our Google Knowledge Graph. So basically it's the same, uh, well, the equivalent information, similar information between these. So it's also entities, but from a different source. And this case is Google Knowledge Graph for each of our entities. Um, and this is the difference between using, scroll down, the entity extract entity details option on the control panel of our uh, schema uh, builder of Staxio. Okay, so this is that's that's the difference between using enabling this option to extract entity details. So if this is useful for you, use this option. Uh, if not, if you're just looking to get schema generate schema, don't enable that option. Just leave it off, disabled, and just click the build schema button and i think that's pretty much what i wanted to cover in this video um and that's it so we have this uh, added this new feature of just a recap here at the end where we add our article and then we can extract um text uh, the entities from the article uh, that we are we want or we are going to use on our builds and that's it thank you very much for watching and i'll see you on the next video